Um, my name's James, I'm 24, um, I live in Herne Bay in Kent. Paris um, is my 98th marathon and tomorrow is my 25th birthday. It was meant to be my 100th, but it wasn't to be. How are you feeling James? Very good, thank you. Doing 132 marathons hopefully this year, slash ultras, for fab kids. That's my this year's challenge because I wanted to really see what I can actually put myself through. And within that, I'm doing also a 100 mile bike ride. Um, the last time I rode a bike was when I was 12, and that's when I had an accident on it, so I haven't ridden since. Um, my first ever race was, I think it was about 2005, what was this, a 5K run, and it was just something at school I thought, do you know what, I'd like to do something for charity. But then I never did any more running until 2011 and I've always dreamed of doing a marathon but before that I thought I'd do a half marathon and see what it's like. In 2012 I did nothing and I saw the Olympics and first hand experience in that gave me a buzz to do sport. So in 2013, September and October I did two half marathons in two months. I thought actually, do you know what? It's not that bad doing half marathons, I can do this. Then I'd signed up to do the Brighton Marathon, what I did in April 2014, what was my first marathon. After doing it, I said, never again. One marathon's more than enough. But actually, literally, after the next day, I was thinking, it was actually really good fun. And literally, it was the next day I entered Liverpool Marathon, rock and roll. There was never no the intention of doing 100 marathons at all. Last year, in 2015, I ran 62 marathons in total. And I thought, if I did 132, that would bring me up to my 200th marathon this year. And I'm probably going to do more than that, because I'm so addicted to these marathons. When I was at uni, I never mixed. I was never a social person, I never really wanted to talk to anyone. I was a very closed person. But actually running has helped me be more open, more social, get to meet different people. But what gets me to do more of marathons is of a bling. The bling gets me <laughs> quite a lot. And doing Little Rock, one of my favourite marathons, and that bling is just out as well. For journey was just actually just to go out there for the medal. What in the end weighed 1.2 kilograms. So it's a hefty bit of metal. I don't do any training. You don't need to do training when you're doing lots of marathons. Right, James. Not too bad, thank you. Good, good, good. My first marathon was 4.55. A year ago, I was about a 5.30 runner. So I even got slower, but something changed and it was um, St George's Day Marathon where I first started to get faster and I did a 4.14. My next one was Liverpool, my PB, a 3.36. Amazed I could run that, that quickly. But then it was Hull where I did a 3.09. Again, it, I remember it so much just because I wanted to give it my all then and I just went for it completely. My half was a 128, what I've never really hit before. It all went downhill at about mile 16. When a little hill to get back up to the Humber Bridge, it just took everything out of me, my legs. But I was still ahead of a three hour pace, I was, I was proud of that point. So I just thought, do you know what, let's just continue and see where I get. I just kept going, kept running, let's just try and see where I can get. And the crowds just lifted you and I came in in the end at 3.09.50. Next year's goal is to do more ultras and actually to get the points for UTMB, what I'd love to do in 2018. That's my long-term goal. I've done a, f a few ultras, I've done 18 to date, and actually I prefer to go long distance now. My main challenge this year is the 100 miler, what will really test me to see the strength. But I'm not just going to do a 100 miler. I've actually signed up afterwards to do a marathon straight after the 100 miler. How are you feeling the halfway, James? 
not too bad. The weather is quite warm today. So one of the hottest of the year so far. Legs feeling good. So not too bad. And a very good time as well. So very happy. I think it's about actually proving to myself more than anything. I've had a lot of issues when I was much younger and that's actually made me more determined. My dad, um, he used to be at my mum when I was very young. He just destroyed my life as a kid and he left me Boxing Day. So it's at Christmas time so we, don't, we never celebrate Christmas at all. And it was when I was six um, he actually left. Um, we only found out Christmas Eve that he, he was going to be leaving us and he left Boxing Day. So it's a very, it was very sad. I love my mum to bits. She's been a massive support for my marathons, but actually I've always wanted to be there for my mum and that's why I'm so, we're so close to each other. And um, I want to show people, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. What do you think of the Paris Marathon so far? Brilliant, the sport is just like London, but much better. <laughs> Crowds, everyone's so friendly. <laughs> I always want to challenge myself, and that's why at university I said, I want to go out there with a first class honours degree. And when you put your mind to it, you can do anything. And that is why I came out with a first class honours degree. After I went to uni, straight away I went to my masters. And again, I went through tough periods of time with the work was a much higher level, so I struggled slightly. But it didn't stop me at all, and nothing ever will stop me. And I did my thesis, and that came out to 78%. What got me another um, first class honours masters. It's past 20 miles. Really better now. So I've always been about being determined to succeed and this is where it brings back to marathons where I'm determined to succeed again. The journey what I've been through of these 100 marathons coming up to has been amazing. Paris um, is my 98th marathon and tomorrow is my 25th birthday so I thought what other way than to celebrate my 25th birthday doing a marathon. I've heard so many great things about Paris. But what a great way to celebrate my 25th. So Paris is number 98. My hopes is we're going to run a sub 330, what I think we're very capable of doing. 99 is with Rick, first contact day. And the bling is very good, I can tell you. I've touched it already, so I know firsthand it's really nice. Um, then the 100th, is where it all started with the person who's supposed to be most throughout the journey. It's both Travis and Rachel. How long to go? Just under two kilometres. And this is where it really hurts. It's not hurting you though, is it? It's just the lower knees. Yeah. Knee cap on my left hand side. But everything else, not too bad. Perfect day to do a marathon. It's a lovely day. So after the race, um, I'm going, we're having a celebration where I get presented with my 100 marathon club vest and medal. There's so many people I've met, and sorry if I haven't mentioned names, because there's so many, I can't remember that, all the names just off my head, um, but you've just been a really good support. Um, and you've just been so amazing, actually showing marathons is a journey of friendship and friends, what you make throughout. It's not just about the running now, it's actually about these friends we make for life. And that's what actually what I've learned from this journey. So actually it's not just all about the races and doing math, it's about the people you meet. It's been a real inspiration to me. Welcome to the finish line. Alright James! Oh, how was that? Knackering after all. That last bit. Great fun. Nice shut down, just two to go. Beautiful marathon, love it. The crowds were friendly, everything. Great scenic route, highly recommend.